This video is sponsored by Skillshare. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you can't tell from the title already, this is unfortunately our last video of ours from Poland. Um, it's pretty weird. We've been traveling through Poland now for coming up to almost three months um, and we've been sort of just wandering around enjoying everything that we can we had made a list before coming here of different places that we wanted to check off and we definitely i think have achieved what we set out to accomplish no yeah definitely so we had a certain list obviously before we came to poland but we added a lot more places to it as we were going along um, our travels in poland so in total we visited 16 places which are Kraków, Wielicza, Zakopane, Katowice, Czestochowa, Bielsko Biała, Wrocław, Łódź, Wenchica, Torun, Olsztyn, Dansk, Sopot, Gdynia, Malbork and Warsaw. Yeah, so that's so many. <laughs> that's pretty insane when you list it out like that. We've really seen a large chunk of Poland and we've had some absolutely incredible experiences so far. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Here at Two Mad Explorers, we enjoy bringing you guys along on the journey with us. So we were inspired to join Skillshare in order to create better videos for you guys and streamline the video creating process for us. So what we've been doing is using Skillshare to discover how to better edit our videos using Final Cut Pro with the course video editing with Final Cut Pro X from beginner to YouTuber from Ali Abdal. This course has over a thousand reviews from like-minded learners and the course author Ali is ranked as a top teacher on Skillshare's platform so we knew right away that this course was worth looking into. Our personal favorite part of the course is how in-depth the course author goes into each individual aspect of editing such as titling clips and color grading which is a super important aspect for every one of our videos. Videos. We are hoping that by the end of this course that we will have a full understanding on how to better edit and create great videos for you guys here on our channel. So if you're interested in making a career pivot or simply want to improve in one specific area of your creative field, the good news is for you all that the first 1000 people to use the first link in the description of this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So we want to say a major thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and making this video possible for you guys to enjoy. Now, back to the video. Now that being said, what were the highlights for you of that list? So, I really thoroughly enjoyed this trip through Poland and to be honest there was definitely some things that stood out for me. One of the things that really stood out for me, especially in the beginning of our Poland trip, was the Wielitsa uh, salt mine. That was absolutely out of this world. Um, it was an experience that we, I think, will never forget. And it is obviously a huge attraction that pulls many, many tourists into Poland. And for me, that really was the first thing in Poland that we did where I was like, oh my God, this place is amazing. And it's, such, it's really, really, really worth seeing. It's still on my list of where we should get married, so. Yeah, well, there you go. So. Um, it's an incredibly beautiful place, 100% must visit the Wielitsa salt mines. Um, another place for me that I really enjoyed was Wrocław, the city of Wrocław. I loved all of the dwarfs. I loved the creative atmosphere that Wrocław had. I think it was a really incredible city, somewhere that is not often talked about amongst many Europeans as being like a weekend getaway or somewhere where you can go and just relax, have some, uh, have, drink a coffee, you know, and enjoy your weekend there. I think it's a perfect getaway destination and it's not added to lists enough. I think that it needs to be spoken about a little bit more. I think it was a very underrated destination in terms of cities. Another one for me that I would add as a highlight would be Olsztyn as well. Olsztyn, you have the amazing lakes there 
um, Alston is kind of, it's part of Varmia. Um, a lot of you guys said that it is the Varmia region, not the Missouri region. And the lakes there and the general vibe there was just unbelievable. So that would be my kind of top three. Um, for you, what's your highlights? It's so difficult to decide, to be honest. I'm looking at this list and trying to figure out which one my top three are, but it's so, so difficult. Um, in no specific order, I would probably put Zakopane in the top three, spe uh, especially the Morski Oko and the Tatras, like the whole Tatras oh, yeah. uh, region there. Um, that was so stunning just to kind of hike in that area and it was just so surreal like it's it's you can not like you cannot imagine what it's like if you go there yep. you see a video and you're like oh yeah okay I know what's going to come I know what the area looks like but no video in this world could ever bring across how beautiful it is up there um, and I'm sure that one day we will go back to the Tatras to hike some more because I feel like uh, we did some hiking but not as extensively as we should have we missed out on a lot of different things there yeah and um, another favorite of mine, I would probably put Wood in the mix as well. Wood is great. But just because of how surprising it was, I heard or we heard so many negative things beforehand. And if you watch our channel for a longer time, you know exactly if somebody says something negative, we We're are going, going there. there. Yep. <laughs> so Wood was um, definitely very, very high up on that list for me as well. Um, specifically the Piotrkowska Street. Yep. Um, it was just so beautiful. It's, it's such a stunning area. Obviously, Wood has bad sides. Wood has good sides. But I feel like Wood definitely should make more people's list in order to showcase exactly what the city has to offer because there's so much culture there and it's just stunning. And I really feel like everybody should take at least the weekend out of their year to visit Wuch and just drink a coffee on the Piotrkowska street okay. and um, my can I do a top four maybe yeah yeah okay so then would probably be Turun and Malborg those two cities were really really surprising for me um, I'm a history lover myself so you can imagine Torun and Malborg, both of them with especially Malborg with the largest castle in Europe. I know a lot of people were commenting it's not the largest, but it is. It is. <laughs> just uh, circumference wise it is the largest castle in the world and I believe just building wise it is the largest red brick castle in Europe so that area by itself is just so so stunning and definitely worth visiting I think it, I think it took us around five and a half or six hours to just get through that castle because we are we were trying to see everything it was crazy and at the end both of us were just kind of going on uh, walking on all fours like crawling basically literally but we did it we saw the entire entire castle and uh, Torun specifically I feel like just the entire city is so so stunning with the whole gingerbread history behind it uh, we ate our body weight in gingerbread I think in the week that we were in Torun and it's just just being there um, makes you feel like you're walking through a fairy tale so Torun yep. makes the list for me as well awesome so that was both of our highlights of the Polish trip that we had and to be honest what, going on this trip and being in Poland for such a long extended period of time as tourists it really makes you realize how undiscovered and underrated a lot of Poland is and to be honest we're both utterly blown away and amazed by the support that you guys have been showing us we get messages still every single day on YouTube and on our social media Facebook and Instagram etc from you guys that are letting us know different things that we missed out on different recommendations that you have and also letting us know how much you love what we have been doing in Poland and we are both genuinely blown away and super super happy every single day that we are going but going into our YouTube checking up to see how certain videos are doing and we're just amazed every time about how well uh, you guys are receiving the content that we are putting out and it's just absolutely fantastic we've enjoyed every single second of exploring around we've met plenty of different Polish locals etc and we've tried some incredible food and Polish beer as well 
I want to say thank you for the support as well. Um, we appreciate each and every one of you and obviously we see you in the comments and we do recognize you guys as well. If you comment a few, uh, like several times, uh, I keep saying to, to look for example, oh look, Eva Milena is back, she commented again. <laughs> <laughs> I have been doing that I think for the last three months pretty much. And I really want to say thank you to each and every one of you and obviously to every single person that we met on the way as well. I want to say thank you for all of the happy memories and and um, with this Poland series, I really want to kind of encourage you guys to go to Poland and um, kind of step away from the usual regular tourist lists that every single person does, you know, the top 10 trip advisor or whatever you yep. might call it. Step away from those lists and go to the places where people tell you not to go because nothing bad is going to happen. As yep. you saw in our video, three months in Poland, nothing bad happened no um, it was incredibly it's an incredibly safe country it's incredibly laid back everybody is just living their life and it's a beautiful place yeah and each and every city really surprised us with its, its own aspects as well so like every place that you go is very very different culturally um, food wise the people are different so it's not like uh, you go to one city in Poland and you've seen it all that's not how this country works yep 100% guys and we are sure that at some stage we will be back we missed out on a few places yeah. I know for sure that I want to go to Poznan, Białystok, Kazimierz Dolny, Bydgosz. Bydgosz there's a bunch of other places that yeah. we've missed out on and I'm sure we will be back with our travels we kind of cut Poland in half yeah we basically um, went from we just <laughs> south to north but, a little bit uh, left and right is missing yeah but that is pretty much it guys for now going forward you can expect to see different content and i hope you guys are going to stay with us um we are going to be showing you guys turkey so <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> we're going to be in turkey for the next basically three months so i hope you guys enjoy we're going to be showing you the ins and outs and all about around turkey so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this new series that we have coming your way for now. We're so excited. <laughs> we are the two mad explorers. My name is Naomi. My name is Luke. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao.